about advanced malware protection, not the one that, uh, you know, they, they, they used to be stoppable by your uh, antivirus, but we know that th those things do not cut it anymore. If you are from the financial environment, you have heard about the brand name Trustier. Okay. Uh, what we're going to be talking about here is about a component of Trustier called Trustier Apex that helps protect workstations uh, from advanced malware. How, what is it that makes uh, Trustier unique? Trustier has been probably the only product in the market that has perfected the art of protecting against advanced malware without disrupting the normal operation, which is the, the typical problem that people that we have. If you have good protection, it gets in the way of people and people get very frustrated with it. How is it that, this, that it operates? Well, it focuses mainly, of first, on this group of applications, which are probably the major vectors of uh, malware, advanced malware, like Java, and I like to joke that stand, Java stands for just another vulnerability announcement. Adobe with Flash and Reader, they always come up with uh, vulnerabilities. Office, every once in a while, comes with new vulnerabilities on those attachments and those macros. And the major browsers, i.e. Firefox and, and, and Chrome, has vulnerabilities that are exploitable by uh, by hackers. So, for example, in the case of Adobe, uh, you know, Reader is so full of features that nobody uses but the hackers in order to exploit uh, those vulnerabilities. And how does, does it work? Well, Trustier knows on this application what are the valid states. For example, when you launch Reader, what are the things that Reader can do at, at what particular point on time? And if we, at what particular point of time, sometimes Reader is trying to open a socket it can be used for communicating with malware, or is accessing the registry, or is you know, uh, you know, deploying the DLL, the, the DLL that they don't normally use. Those are things that Trustier knows that are not valid state of the application and actually blocks those. In many cases, uh, with Trustier, we've been able to stop new malware, but we don't know exactly how it operates. But the fact that it it it, it goes into strange a state is what actually makes the the Trustier Apex. Uh, uh, trigger and actually block those. But let's say that uh, that the malware doesn't come from those vectors. Let's say that it comes from an infected USB. Another thing that Trustier does, it, it actually, any any software that is on sign, uh, let, let, let's say it, uh, an executable that doesn't have a valid signature, what we do is that we send an MD5 of that executable into the Trustier cloud, because Trustier is a, is a SaaS uh, type of, of business in which is checked in less than 100 milliseconds against 40 more than 40 antivirus engines to see whether this this uh, actual uh, executable is malicious and, and is and if that is the case it actually blocked it. It also does cool things like protecting against corporate credentials. So many many problems with breaches uh, happen because people use their corporate password in sites that are not uh, corporate either. Um, would you know purposely because we'll say well this is the only password I remember it's a good password so I'm going to use it everywhere I, ca I can or because they've been fished and they receive a mail that they think it is come from the corporate and they go into the site log in with the corporate credentials they've been fished and the and the credentials are compromised uh, compromised so what 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 Apex does in this particular case and I'm mentioning this as an example is that it takes it knows what but what are the URLs of the valid uh, uh, corporate sites. Uh, so the corporate sites, when, when you configure the, the, the Trustier Apex client on the cloud, you specify which are the valid URLs. So when it sees that you put that corporate password into that URL, it takes a hash of it, it stores it uh, very securely, and then every time it sees you going into any uh, web page into a password field and you are inputting a password, it's actually going to go and take a hash of that uh, password you're putting in it. And it will compare the two. And if they, if they match, well, you've been using the corporate credentials in a site that is not a corporate site. And, you know, it, it can prevent you from, from doing that. It can warn you and or both. Any of those actions when Trustier Apex finds a problem, it sends information into the cloud, into the Trustier cloud. So in the cloud, we know that there's something bad actually happening. And you also have the capability 
with a component of Trustier called ALM, Apex Local Manager, of actually sending to your SIM, like Curator, notification about that incident. So let's say that somebody tries to use or uses its corporate credentials uh, in a site that is not a corporate site. Well, the Trustier Apex, it not only knows about that, even when you are outside the corporate network, let's say that you were doing this at your home network or at a Starbucks, or at a hotel, where, where the, the, the SIEM, the IPSs, all the components of your corporate networks were not protecting you. Well, Trustee Apex is, because it's an agent that sits on your on your workstation, and it's going to inform that to uh, uh, to your uh, uh, SIEM or curator. So when you come on back into the corporate network, your SIM is aware that your machine is infected with malware uh, or, you know, that your corporate credentials have been compromised and then different rules, different set of actions can actually be taking place.